trouble? Morning, friend. I Mind think the mud we need to path. talk, Traveller. You're a new face around here, and new faces showing up rarely ends well for this village. I have a duty to my village first and foremost. I need to know who you are and why you came here. Looking for answers, huh? In a perfect world, I could give you all the information you need and you could be on your way. But speaking openly can be a death sentence these days. As long as you're asking questions, you're putting us in danger. No, but you have my permission to build a shelter on the outskirts of the village. Come back once you're set up, and maybe you can earn your keep. Hungry and down on luck. A coin would mean the world. your coins for something truly special how can i be of service today perhaps you'd like to view my fine wares well this puts me in a difficult situation you see we have to be wary of newcomers in our village while there is much to learn about our beautiful home the elder himself determines how welcome you are and defying that rule is more than my job here is worth speak to him first Anything else?
Isn't it funny how one small decision can have consequences that ripple through history? Or are we victims of a predetermined path? Was it chosen for you the day you visited your favorite woods on your 10th birthday? Was it destiny that the royal family were hunting there at the same time? From a tree on high, you watched as Prince Voldar and Princess Osen laughed, talked, and tracked wild animals without a care in the world. And you watched in helpless horror as a stray arrow bolted through the trees, hitting the prince in the chest like a lightning strike. Just like that, the prince was dead. And when the princess found you standing over her brother's dead body, it felt as though the gods were playing a cruel trick on you all. In the panic and confusion, you ran from the scene as fast as your legs would carry you. Fueled by rage and grief, the king demanded the head of any child who fit your description. Fearing for your life, your father asked a friend to bring you far away. Away from the king's wrath. In the middle of the night, you were taken from your home and brought away on horseback. In tears, you called out to your mother, but it was too late. Your old life was over. For years, you hid from the royal family, your resentment growing. You heard stories of your homeland, the rise and fall of a rebellion, the death of the king, and the reign of the evil Queen Osen. But on the eve of your 20th birthday, your guardian, the man who smuggled you out of Carvinia and kept you safe all these years, was brutally killed by a mysterious assassin. As he died in your arms, his hand clutched a coin with a strange sigil emblazoned upon it, a clue. Now, you have returned to your homeland for answers. Through choice or through fate, vengeance would be yours. But how will you fare in a land you no longer 